so today we have Apple and Motorola moving production to Texas, a portable laptop stand you may love, and modular robotics. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Beats. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Netflix. Thanks to all of you who helped vote for Geek Beat in the Chrysler Work Like a Pro Van giveaway. We made it to the quarterfinals. It's down to the top 25 and we couldn't have done it without you guys. And now we need everyone's help. It's so simple. Just visit geekbeat.tv slash geekbeatvan and click on the vote button. That's it. And you're allowed to vote once every single day. So if you could, please just take about five seconds to join in. It would really help out. We only have two weeks to win this thing and every vote counts. There's a new Kickstarter project I'm very interested in. It's called the LinkBot. A lot of people are trying to use Kickstarter to reduce the cost of robot kits, but this one is a fully modular system. First, it works right out of the box, but as you learn more about robotics, you can easily add to it and increase the difficulty. I hope to be playing with it soon. If you want to support it, grab the link from our show notes at gb.tv 655. Thanks, GK Dave, for the link. Another little robotic type system came from Maker Fair, where viewer Gene was scoping out all the cool stuff. He found Glue Motor. It's a bit more of a bare bones system, but what's cool about it is that you plug the device into your headphone jack on your phone, and using the app, you can control the movements of the motors. Of course, you could use it as a base for building a cool looking robot of your own creation. Add a little mustache, some hair, maybe not. A fez. <laughs> He also found a laptop stand some of you might like. It's called The Roost. It's carbon fiber and meant to be ultra portable. Pack it up and carry it with you and open it up when you're working at the coffee shop or on the floor at the airport or whatever. I wonder if it would help with giving you a bit of space on an airplane. Hmm. They're going to launch on Kickstarter soon, so if you're interested, be sure to let them know you heard about it here. You could also let Netflix know you were convinced to try their service because of our awesome recommendations by going to netflix.com slash geekbeat. You'll get a free 30-day trial. I've personally been watching 24. I never did see it when it was running on TV, but it is an awesome show. Netflix is great for seeing things you should have seen but never did, or reminding yourself how much you loved a series, or for finding new movies to enjoy with the family. As you know, I cut the cord years ago, and Netflix is my primary source of entertainment. Well, except for John P. He's pretty entertaining when he gets his flame on. It's official. The long-rumored Moto X phone is coming this fall. Packed with sensors that know when you're in a car traveling at 60 miles an hour, or sitting still at your desk, or getting up, or whatever, and it serves data optimized for that action. It isn't ready to be seen just yet, but they're happy to tell us that this will be the first smartphone assembled in the USA by 2,000 people that'll be hired this summer at a plant Nokia closed in Texas a while ago. If that sounds familiar, that's because Apple announced plans to build $100 million worth of iOS products in Texas a week ago. See, there is a ton of Texas tech here, including GeekBeat. Dude, what were you thinking? <laughs> we're geeks. By the way, we're going to start doing something new. It'll be random. We're gonna sneak some opportunities for you to win free stuff into shows or reviews or vlogs or other videos we do. Only the first people who watch the videos will have the chance to win though. And the easiest way for you to know when a new video has been uploaded is by subscribing to MoTube. It's a middleman service that lets you get text messages when we release new updates. Simple and easy. Of course, I don't want you going over your SMS limit and paying crazy charges, but if you have the room to get more, go to MoTube com slash geekbeattv. Gmail's getting an update. They hope to help you organize your inbox a bit better. They previously introduced a priority inbox, but now they've come up with an improved inbox with even more options than before that'll solve all your problems by separating deals from social updates and keeping your really important stuff in priority. Kind of cool, I'm kind of digging it, but I don't have it yet because Google hates me. Details are at keepy.tv slash Gmail update. I'm Callie Lewis. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to join in our Google Plus Geeks community and to vote for the van and to subscribe to Motu and to just join in on the general fun. <laughs> oh, and we have a New York meetup coming up soon. Yeah! Keepy.tv for all the details or just see on social media. Anyway, bye. See you there.